Hi everyone. I hope you're well and um, doing well and your family's well during this unprecedented time in our lives. Uh, like most of you, we are doing self-isolation and trying to come up with creative things to do in the house. For us, it's just me and my husband and our crazy dog, Winston. But as you know, I have a food blog called Asian Caucasian com and I am cooking in the kitchen all the time anyway so what I thought I'd do is bring to you some of my favorite recipes that you can now explore in your own kitchen um, and I'm going to start this series and hopefully we won't be stuck inside for too too long but in the meantime I hope this helps inspire you to get cooking so today we are actually going to make my butternut squash chili which is on the blog I um, wanted to use up some beans in my pantry. I'm sure you've stockpiled beans too. So today uh, for the beans, and I'm kind of improvising on this because I don't have all of the ingredients. My uh, recipe calls for ground pork in this. I'm doing it totally vegetarian today. So you can use ground chicken, ground turkey, ground pork, ground beef, whatever you have, or make it vegetarian like I am. Um, the beans I'm using today are going to be uh, garbanzo beans and black beans and I've got them here and I've rinsed them really well to get all that starchy liquid off and I'm gonna be using um, my butternut squash which what I did is I had a big butternut squash left over and I cut it in half because I don't need the whole thing it's a lot of squash and I peeled it and I cut them into little tiny cubes like this and they almost look like cheddar cheese but they're not but anyway this is what we're using and I had lots of pepper so I decided I wanted to use these little baby bell peppers because they don't have a lot of seeds and um, they slice up real nicely and they look pretty. And then from Trader Joe's, I had gotten this big container of shishito peppers, which I've been using in several recipes. I thought this would be a great addition to that. It's not in the actual recipe, but feel free to get creative, like I said. So we have garlic, we have herbs, we have onions, and we've got our beans and we've got our butternut squash and those are the ingredients. Um, I also had some basil in my fridge I wanted to use up. So I'm doing both basil and cilantro. So first, I've cut, I've prepped most of this, but I'm going to go ahead and chop up the onions for this. And that's my dog going crazy because he doesn't like it when I chop onions. He is a psycho dog. Sorry, I'm just saying he can't handle it when I chop onions or when I peel garlic. Um, I don't know what to tell you. He needs mental health. Um, okay, so again, I've got one full onion here. I like my chili very chunky. Um, but if you don't, you know, lessen up on the veggies. And I'm going to be using one can of the chopped tomatoes um, that I had already had in my pantry. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this over to the stove and we're gonna get started on sauteing our veg. And here we go. So I've got some canola oil already in my soup pot. Um, and I'm gonna let that heat for a second and I'm gonna start with my onions and I'm gonna start with my garlic and let them sweat out for a little bit. Everybody in the pot, as Rachel Ray would say. And the herbs that we are using today, I mean, not the herbs, the spices we're using today, we're gonna make it Asian inspired. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So we're going to get this fairly high, um, me medium high on your stove to let them sweat out for a minute before we add in our peppers. And let me grab our butternut squash and our beans. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. It's a very colorful chili. I hope you like it super easy. You're going to like it. Okay, we can hear it start to sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle. 
a little while. Now, the recipe on my blog calls for a lot more. It makes it for like six to eight people, but it's just my husband and I. So we have grown kids that are hunkering down at home too. And I wish I could bring them lots of food. I did before, but now we're not. So um, I adjusted this recipe a little. Too bright? You see it? Okay, we had to turn the light out. It was just too bright. I adjusted this recipe for a smaller group and I'll probably end up freezing. Freezes really well, so I've been freezing a lot of stuff lately. Okay, we're gonna add in a bell pepper. While that is sweating, a little. I'm gonna chop up my pachito into just little rings. I'll come over here and I'll show you how I do it. Now, shishitos are mild. They're mild peppers. I like to blister them directly on the stove sometimes when I'm doing some recipes. They're just delicious and you can just serve them with a dip. So there we go. Alright. Got a little coral. Mmm, smells good in here. Yum. Yum. So this is what um I got some uh, fire roasted tomatoes to give it a, a tiny kick, but we're gonna get a kick from something else soon. It's also gonna give it a kick. And you don't have to use fire roasted. Use, like I said, use the tender pantry. Now let's add in our beautiful butternut squash. And we're gonna let that saute for a little bit. Once we add in all the, the liquids, we should start to um, soften up a bit. Okay, I'm gonna come back in one minute. I'm gonna grab some more tomato sauce. Okay, now uh, we want to add in our diced tomatoes. I've got two cans. And one. Give that a twirl. And now we're adding our beans. Our bonzo beans and black beans. Whatever you have. Cannellini beans would be great. Red kidney beans would be awesome. I don't, didn't have any. I just used whatever I found. So here we go. We've got all our ingredients except for our spices, which is the best part. So this is Chinese Five Spice. It's a beautiful blend of spices, um, including cinnamon and anise. And it's got, mm, it is so fragrant and it, it just makes it so delicious. So I'm putting that in. I've got some cumin. I've got some ground coriander. And this is sambal olik, which is a red chili paste. It's gonna give it a wonderful little kick. I love it. And a little pepper and a little salt. And that is it, folks, until we add in the herbs at the very end. So I'm just gonna stir this, get it well combined, and cover it, let it simmer for 10 minutes. And we'll check it to make sure the butternut squash has been softened enough. If it hasn't, we'll let it cook a little longer. But there you go. I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna turn it down to simmer. And we'll be back in 10 minutes. So, we're ready. Everything is softened. I tested my 
butternut squash. It took longer than 10 minutes, but I let it uh, simmer, continue to simmer until it was ready. And here is the final product. Look how gorgeous and colorful that is. They say eat your colors. This is eating your colors. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, first we're gonna put them in our bowls and I'm gonna top it off with some herbs. And I'm gonna top it off with some sliced avocado. Yum, 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 yum. And I don't have any sour cream on hand, but I usually put sour cream on top. You could add cheese if you want, whatever you, whatever you like. If you have some jalapeno peppers, you can do that. So let's get a little sprinkle here. We've got basil and cilantro. And then we want, of course, to have the avocados, it's the best. I happen to have some ripe avocados. Slice them up. Stick them on top. Doesn't matter if it's pretty, it's gonna be good. One more. Hope you guys are having a great weekend and a great week. I know it's difficult, it's difficult times, but food is good for the soul. It makes you feel better. And I hope that I've helped you too. Uh, I want to taste this. We got to taste it, of course. Very hot, so forgive me. Mmm, mmm, that is delicious. I hope you can make this at home. Go to my blog, AsianCutCajun.com, and search butternut squash chili, and you will have direct instructions on how to make this beautiful bowl for your soul. And next time, we'll be back in my kitchen, and I will prepare for you one of my uh, popular recipes from the blog, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but stay tuned, and I hope you stay well. Stay inside. Bye-bye.